today is Monday, December 12th, and I'm opening my first college decision. It's not one of my top schools, but it will feel good to have one acceptance under my belt. Okay. <gasps> There's confetti. Okay, I got in. I'll check in with you guys next time I get a college decision. My Babson decision came out a minute ago. This wasn't supposed to come out until January 1st, but they emailed me yesterday. I'm slightly nervous. I don't know why. Are you sitting down? Yes, I'm sitting down. Stop. If they're hyping me for no reason, stop. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for. Get excited. <gasps> I got it! I got it! Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Look at that. I got it! Okay, I'm so relieved. Genuinely. Ah, you are so good! I have no doubt. Oh my god, that's so exciting! I'll check in with you guys next time I have a college decision. Two for two right now. It's like hours later from the Babson one, but I just got an email from Santa Clara saying that their decision is out. I really haven't thought about if I'm getting in here or not. This new updates your application were posted. I got deferred. That's okay. fine. It's January 12th. You mass eyes just came out. New update. I got in! I got to Eisenberg and I got a scholarship. And I got in here on college. It's January 19th. Hi. Hello. This reaction I'm joined by Owen. UNH yeah. came out. <laughs> Let's see. Do you think I got in? Do you think Emma got in? <laughs> Let's look. <gasps> I got in. Yay! I got in. Oh, oh, and you got your cookie. I got the trusty scholarship. I'll check in with you guys next time I get a decision. I think it's going to either be USC or Northeastern. Today is Saturday, January 28th, and I think Northeastern decisions came up, but I'm not 100% sure. They said before February 1st, so it's any day now. I'm a little confused. I got an email from Northeastern that says, claim your Northeastern University online account. I don't know if that means I got it in. I checked in my spam. I didn't get an email being like, a decision is made. None of that. Northeastern wasn't one of my top schools, but if I get it, I'm going to be happy. This is a waiting decision. I'm a little confused. I was Googling around to see what this means, and I think it means I got in, but I'm not 100% sure. Eligibility is based on admission data and university system. I think that means I got in, but I guess I'll wait to see. Does this email mean that I was accepted or is that something separate? I was signing up for the login, then I contacted their IT department, which it's on there. Immediately, like the automated thing was like, if you're an admitted student that got the email but hasn't gotten your acceptance letter yet, something about their systems being wrong and that one was sent before the other and it was supposed to be the other way around. I was just applying, like I literally said this to my parents, I was like, I was just applying to see what happened. I just got back from dinner and my friends are coming over in a little while and I got in guys. I'm gonna open it on my laptop though because like the phone didn't feel real. I don't know. Yeah, okay. If I were to go there, I'd send a semester in London and a semester in California. That's crazy. I don't think I'm gonna go to Northeastern, but I am just very excited. It's Tuesday, March 14th. It's like 6.30. About 15 minutes ago, I got an email from Santa Clara saying that my decision has been made for a regular decision. I'm slightly nervous, but not really because I'm not gonna end up at Santa Clara. Like, I just know pretty much for a fact that I'm not ending up at any of the California schools that I applied to. I just wanted to see if I would get in or not. I'm thinking this is a no for me anyways. I don't have a good feeling about this. No demonstrated interest. I rushed my supplements for this. And then when I got to first, all they said was like, do you wanna stay on our list? So I said, yes, but you could not submit anything else. Okay, I was waitlisted. I don't think I'm gonna accept my spot on the waitlist, but at least I wasn't rejected. Bentley comes out this Friday and I am so nervous for that. Like genuinely, that is the one that I really am hoping to get into because I think I'll end up at Bentley. Like it just feels like the right fit for me. I will check in with you guys Friday at 4.30 when Bentley comes out. Fingers crossed for that. That is one of the decisions I am most anxious for. There's a status update. I didn't actually expect it to be there. Can you guys get out? It is March 17, 434, and my Bentley decision came out. Okay, hold on. I got a screen record. My parents are outside the door, so. What is going on? Decision letter, what? <gasps> oh my God! You guys can come in. I go into the women's leadership program. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Good girl, good girl. It says I got a scholarship on top of that. On top of I'm what literally they gave you for the women's Yes. Kit. At first, before it popped up this letter, it popped up how much it cost. So I was like, I got in. Yay! Proud of you. 
Today is Thursday, March 23rd, almost 7 p.m. And BC decisions came out about 40 minutes ago. I did not rush to my computer. This is going to be a rejection. So like, what is the point of rushing in my mind? My friend texted me and said that he was rejected. So I have zero expectations for this. And I was saying this to him earlier. Even if I got in, I would not be going to BC anyways. It's just not the school for me. I feel it. I don't know the vibe there. It's gonna be a rejection. I got waitlisted. I'm not gonna accept that waitlist offer because again, I'm not going to BC. So I want to make sure that I'm not put on the waitlist because I don't want to take that spot from someone else who is like deeply in love with the school because I know there's so many people that are. It's Thursday, March 23rd, literally 20 minutes after I opened BC. My brand just came out. I've never toured this school. I supplied, I've heard of it. I'm gonna end up at Bentley, I think so. Like my parents stopped caring the second I got into Bentley. <gasps> I got in. Okay, I'm not gonna go there anyways. Like I genuinely meant that, but it still feels nice to get in. I'm happy with that. Hours later and I didn't even think to look at this until I was texting with my friend who also just got into Brandeis. I got into their International Business Scholars Program. I think it's like an honors college situation and I got a small scholarship. That was my update. It is Friday, March 24th at 7 p.m. in USC. Decisions have come out. I'm gonna give the preface to this. I'm not getting in, and I know for a fact I'm not getting in, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to Bentley. But I just wanna see at this point. And when I say I'm going to Bentley, I haven't committed. Anyways, I'm not really concerned about this. Yeah, no, okay. I was rejected, so that was the only school that I was rejected from. It's Saturday, March 25th at 10.22. You came out like hours ago, but I've been sleeping. Again, I know I keep saying this before every single one, but I genuinely mean it. I'm nowhere near as stressed as I was any of the other ones before I got into Bentley. Now I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. I don't really have a great feeling because I have no demonstrated interest. Okay, I got waitlisted. I, again, am not going to accept that, but that is not bad. It is Saturday, April 15th at 4 p.m. And I have officially committed to a school. So I don't think it's that much of a surprise, but I am Bentley class of 2020. It's really now just hitting me because I put in my deposits today But just walking around the campus today It just like felt like where I should be the next four years and I'm so so excited about that They gave me this Bentley sweatshirt. We stopped by the bookstore before I got my free sweatshirt But like it's a different look anyways. I picked up this sweatshirt. It says Bentley University Since this video has encapsulated months and months of my work to get into these schools and then my ultimate decision I kind of want to explain a little bit why I chose Bentley over maybe some of the other schools for me It really at the end of the day came down to a couple of factors one, the business education, Bentley and Babson, you really can't get better than that. Two, the social life and the social balance. I don't want it to be all craziness, but I also want to have things to do and I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere. Also, another factor for me was scholarships and things like that. And Bentley really hit all of those things. They also have an amazing women's leadership program that I'm going to be a part of. This decision obviously is very personal to everyone, so this is in no way like hating on the other schools I got into. I'm still very grateful for the opportunities that I was given. Towards the end of the process, I really was just between Bentley and Babson. And the funny thing, his is going into the process those are the only two that i really like wanted to go to and i had a feeling i was going to end up at one of them i just have a really good feeling about college for myself i cannot believe i am finishing this video right now i know i watched about a million of these videos when i was applying to school so i just want to tell you guys if you guys are in that process don't stress because you're going to end up at the place that you're supposed to be at thank you all so much for watching if you don't already you should definitely subscribe because you just came along with me for probably nine months of my life i'll either see you guys next friday or if you guys are just waiting for college content maybe i'll see you in the fall.